<clears throat> Everybody have to do their part. You have to be disciplined with your eyes and what you read. Um, not having their quarterback in there, how much of a difference do you think that'll make, or is it just a system? Not a big difference. Uh, quite sure that um, the backup quarterback came in Thursday and did a good job, so I'm um, really looking forward to the challenge. These guys really did a number on you last year. What, what do you think is going to be different? different? Uh, you guys seen it already? Uh, well, a guy just getting in, watching film, believing in what the coach is doing, doing our job. How much does it help, Sean, that you guys have seen it for you know two years, one time there, one time here? A lot, because you know it's a difficult offense. Not many teams run it, so uh, having seen it twice and since I've been here is a, a very a bit uh, up apart for us. The, the first game, the two years ago when you were there and you lost pretty big, it was yeah. kind of it was like a shell shock, wasn't it? What yeah. was that like for you guys? It was a bad feeling, you know. The guys went up there and I think they ran for rush for almost 500 yards. You know, it was embarrassing. I still had that bad taste in my mouth. And was it kind of like they, they, with the triple option, all of a sudden you look, it's like, uh, where's the ball? And yeah. it's halfway down the field? Is yeah, it- uh, that's why you, you face a triple option, everybody has to do their job. Um, tackle the dive if you don't have it. Tackle, tackle the quarterback if you don't have it. It's basically just tackle everybody? Yeah. <laughs> and if you don't, what happens? You get gas. You get gas? Yeah. And b- big runs, right? Big runs, yeah. Uh, how about passing? Hi. Coach Shannon said they don't pass much, but when they do, they're long passes. Yeah, they like, um, they like to take a lot of shots, you know, to keep the DBs and safeties honest. So, so do you how guys... is it possible when when you're falling down against a tight end who's a top, foot taller than you anyway, how is it possible for you to grab a space mask? I don't know, but you know, that's what the ref called. <laughs> did, you, uh, did you want to go see that? I mean, afterward, is that one of the first plays you wanted to check out on the film? Yeah, but I didn't get a chance to watch, you know, uh, it's behind me. I'm focused on Georgia Tech right now. How do you think your performance this past week uh, has, what do you think it's done for you guys as a group? In the Virginia game, you weren't able to get off the field against Maryland, you were. How does that move you into this week's game? Well, you know, getting on the field on third down, creating short fields for our quarterbacks and uh, and just making plays, you know, going out there, forcing turnovers, stopping guys in the backfield, stopping the run. Is it possible for penalties to be more of a, more of an emphasis this week as far as avoiding them? I mean, you guys know the numbers. I mean, they're getting nine a game. Yeah, you know, they're getting like five and a half. Yeah, we just have to go back to fundamentals. You know, uh, not getting too antsy, overexcited, uh, being patient and doing our job. Does it get frustrating though when the flags keep coming out, even when you are? No, you, you can't let things like that get to you know, but then it affects the next play. So, how do you guys feel right now about this season? Where, where are you guys at? We're not where we want to be. Still a lot of football left. Still have things that we would like to accomplish. How did you feel about Steven's performance, Steven Morrison's performance Saturday, just the way he came in and seemed to have command pretty pretty, re, you know, pretty yeah, early in the game? I think, I think he did a good job. You know, he displayed it all weekend. Um, last week practice, so it wasn't a big shot. How tough is it, you know, week in and week out? You know, you got the guys got three days to really prepare for a totally different offense that you never see. How tough is that on you guys mentally to, to get that done? Very tough. You know, that's why it's important for, for guys to get in on their own and watch, watch film and when, when we're in practice not to waste a rep. How is uh, Ja'Cory doing, you know, just emotionally knowing a young guy comes in, all of a sudden he's a hero, everybody's talking to him, big man on campus. How did, What does that do for Ja'Cory? How does he deal with that? I don't think it affects Ja'Cory. If anything, right. I think Ja'Cory's happy for him, you know, for him to go out there and, and win the game for this team. It seemed like he was really into it on Saturday. Ja'Cory was just being in the huddle and yeah. being into the just game. Yeah, just being a competitor that Ja'Cory is, you know, he won the best for whoever's on that field. So how do you? How do you practice going against the option? Have, have the guys been doing a good job in the scout team and all that, or what? How's yeah, that? They're, they're a big part too, you know, making sure they they have the uh, the counts right, the reads right. So, you know, they're going to be a big part this week too. Coach talked about the importance of catching up to the speed of, of which they run it in the first quarter. Can you just talk about what that's like? Yeah, that's going to be hard, but you know, our offense on scout team not going to be able to assimilate. It's just it's just as good as they do. So, you know, getting adjusted on that first drive is going to be huge. Talk about the luxury of having two guys who can play quarterback. I mean, you've had Ja'Cory for three years, and whether he's healthy or not, you you know you have another guy who's got experience and who has, more importantly, a win. Well, you know, it's big for whatever it have to do to help this football team win. You know, that's having two, one, three quarterbacks is good.